Minimally invasive surgical techniques require methods and instruments that are small. When combined with robotic surgery, Dr. Gregory Ward performs procedures with precision and flexibility. I'm making the instruments do what I would want to do if I were like a tiny little robot, you know, inside someone's throat. You now if I could like shrink myself down, like that's what I'd want to do. And this allows me to get closer to that fantasy, being able to operate anywhere. Fantasy or not, the capability has advantages. Imagine a soldier the size of an insect, the ultimate secret weapon. For Ward, this is the secret weapon in the fight against cancer. With these little instruments that have been developed specifically for the robot. SSM Health St. Louis University Hospital is the first in the region to offer a less invasive approach removing tumors in the head and neck using a robotic system. It's called flexible robotic surgery. As assistant professor of otolaryngology head and neck surgery, Ward is a leader bringing the Flex Robotic System into SLU Hospital. The platform is designed to be used through any natural opening in the body. And so utilizing a different camera each time, I can use it, for example, in the head and neck. And then uh, a couple days later, Dr. Montenegro can use it uh, for a case going uh, through the rectum. Traditional surgeries reaching tumors in the head and neck are invasive and may require follow-up reconstruction. To get back to that area, if I have to open the jaw or go through the throat, kind of burrowing through from the outside to get to the inside, you know, that's a significant amount of muscle that you have to cut through that is only getting cut because it's in the way of doing the cancer operation. There are other muscles we cut to get the cancer out, but I'm cutting through a lot of extra tissue and that in increased risk of infection, increased pain. Certainly anytime you cut through bone, it's going to hurt. It's gonna change their outcomes in terms of how quickly and how well they get back to swallowing. Ward says this approach may be the answer for patients who have tumors within reach. Just to give you an example, um, I had a really nice uh, patient come in who has a tonsil cancer, traditional approach which would be to literally split her jaw and open things up so I can get access. We have the opportunity with this to remove the tumor with good visualization and made no cuts on the outside of her jaw or face. There are two platforms that come in, and so the joystick one is right here, and this is the one that runs off of a foot pedal, and I'm wearing 3D glasses you know, operating on a high-definition screen. And so when I'm working with the patient, I have the one here that I use to drive everything into position. This is the camera port right there. It goes down like this, like a little curve, and you drive that down into someone's mouth, and as you got this little opening, you drive the camera down, and that's how you get where you need to go. Ward says the new technology so, allows him to clearly see the, what can be done um, and what the future holds. Then, doing things that I, I literally, you imagine I, I can't stick even one hand in a patient's mouth, let alone two to operate and then to do it with high definition with these little instruments that have been developed specifically for the robot. I'll be honest, cancer surgery is never fun. <laughs> you know, I'm constantly thinking like I've got to do this right, but it's certainly nice to get the view that I can with this.